Hey, Bob. Hey, hey Jamie. How, how, you? You, how you doing? Not too bad. How about well, you? I'm good. What's new? Oh, nothing. Trying to get a job. Yeah? Yes. What are you going to do? Um, actually, I wanted to do some CNC stuff, and I thought, I thought I'd come and talk to you. Really? Yes. Well, that's very cool. I can help with that. I know. That's why I'm here. All <laughs> right. Cool. Well, let's get back to the house and talk about it some more. All right. Sounds good. Let's do it. So, Jamie, last time we talked, you told me you wanted to get a job with CNC. Um, do you want to go to work in, in a, like a CNC manufacturer? Do you want to have your own <laughs> business? Or what are you thinking about there? Um, I kind of want to start my own business. Okay. And what are you going to make? Um, I'm not sure just yet. I have to figure okay. that part out. i got to you know, figure out more of the CNC stuff and the, you know, how it operates and the software. Cool. Well, I had you come up with some questions for me, and I have a set of questions for you to kind of help our audience uh, understand what we're going to try to accomplish with our uh, CNC for Jamie uh, video series Yay. and kind of get to know us. So, you know, let's just, uh, well, let's begin right at the beginning. Jamie, tell our audience how we met. Uh, well, we're in a band together. We're in a band together. Yeah, what's the band called? Blue Ocean Rockers. Blue Ocean Rockers. And what kind of music do we do? The best of the best. The Rock best. and roll. Rock <laughs> and roll. All right. And Jamie, what do you do in the band? I am one of the lead singers. Nice. Yes. And what do I do in the band? Rock and roll. <laughs> you sing and you play keys. Yeah, cool. And direct. <laughs> and direct. Um. Yes, two first. Opportunity. Well, I've done a lot of both, so um, I'm going to be trying to see if I can help you. Mm -hmm. um, what are your biggest fears about the project? I mean, there's the the software, for one, using the software and, and how complicated it is, I'm not sure. And, uh, you know, money for materials and machine, stuff like that. Got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and what assets do you feel like you're bringing to the table? What are your strengths that will be helpful on the project? Um, I'm, I think I'm resourceful and sometimes creative. <laughs> And I mean, I, I'm computer savvy. I know that. So I you are. <laughs> I've seen it in action. Mm -hmm. um, why do you want to learn to CNC? I mean, what is it? Why that particular <laughs> thing? I, I just find it fascinating. Um, I love how the machine works. You can make anything really on the machine. Yeah, you can make parts for other people. You can make your own parts. You can make signs. Everything. That's very cool. Furniture. I agree. Yeah some uh, versions of software that are much simpler um, and we'll start with that mm -hmm. before we move into the more complex things uh, but frankly you know CNC is uh, a profession and a, a technology where you just never stop learning yeah there's always something new to try that's one of the things I really like about it sounds great and I see here um, uh, do you want to, can we talk, can I ask about the machines? Sure. Okay. So, <clears throat> the Shape Yoko and the Tormach. Yeah, we, you've seen those in my shop. Yes. What would you like to know about them? Um, which one's easier to learn or is that more software? You know, if I had to say, uh, I think the Shape Oko is easier to learn than the Tormach. But that's not through any fault of the Tormach. The two machines really have different purposes. Okay. Uh, the Shape Oko is basically a wood carver or a soft material carver, whereas the Tormach can do precision metalwork. Oh, okay. Right? I didn't know if, that. if I was going to do wood carving on the Tormach, it'd be just as easy as on the Shape Oko. It's just that precision metalwork is, there's more to learn. Yeah. Right? I mean, you need to be able to measure things very precisely for starters, like, you know, 
and cutters, right? Yeah, there's a lot more cutters and, you know, feeds and speeds are more complicated. Work holding is more complicated. So, you know, in general, the, the wood carving machines are easier to learn. Uh, you know, probably even easier than those are laser engravers. You know, I've seen people come up to speed really fast on those. And we're, we're not going to mess with those for this video series. We might in a later series, though. That'd be, that'd be great. Yeah. How long did it take you to learn? <laughs> You're like, I'm still learning. <laughs> I am still learning. I, I learned uh, uh, to be a manual machinist, meaning no CNC. The machines are all manually operated. Oh, wow. And I would say that was a three or four year experience before I felt like I could, I could do pretty much everything I wanted to do. Um, but I, I feel like that's harder to learn than CNC. I mean, there's a lot of touch in running these manual machines and a oh, yeah. lot of techniques and I bet. you know the the the, the great manual uh, machinists are really impressive guys to see in action my dad's a machinist there you go <laughs> there you go <laughs> have you ever asked him how long it took him to learn um no but i know he worked at that, that place for 20 something years 30 years yeah he was at a mill right yeah yeah a giant paper mill yeah, I mean, uh, it's a fascinating uh, profession. I met my first machinist uh, when I was really young. I was in like the third grade, and this, oh, guy's, wow. this guy's name was Charlie Brown, believe it or not. <laughs> and he had this big old South Bend lathe, and I was just fascinated cutting metal and seeing, you know, it had cutting oil that it was, you know, smoking from the heat, and <laughs> it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. All right. Now, when you, uh, we were saying just before that, um, when you're learning the manual machines um, and then switching to to the computer run or computer operating machines right um, did you know code then or was it it what was it not till after you learned the I did know how to code but it wasn't a factor for CNC you can do CNC without really knowing how to write any kind of code. Oh, that's fine. Um, okay. I didn't know. Now, you'll be better if you learn it. <laughs> yeah, make it easier. But consider that an advanced skill that you learn after you've got the basics nailed. Okay. Step by step. So, I mean, if you want to just go have me, let me just run down the list of, of the skills that you'll need to know. You need to know how to run the machine. You need to know how to design your parts in CAD software. You need to know how to convert those CAD designs into what's called G-code, mm -hmm. which just think about it as a black box. You don't have to understand G-code, um, but that's what it's going to do because that's what your machine takes in to yeah. know what to do. Yeah, the file. Right? You need to understand <laughs> the basic setup on the machine. So, you know, how do I get a tool into the machine? Yes. Uh, a cutter. You know, how do I put my my blank workpiece before I machine? How do I secure that on the machine so it can't move around? Mm -hmm. And then how do I align the machine so it knows where it is and it's ready to start the program? Okay. And, you know, those are the basics. And like I said, not that hard to learn. I mean, the CAD and the CAM are probably the hardest part of it. <clears throat> I've had trouble with uh, CAD drawings. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, and why why do you want to teach somebody like me? That's, I enjoy could, teaching could people. Could you? <laughs> I will. I enjoy teaching people things. That's one of the reasons I started CNC Cookbook, and that's really what we do. Is is uh, There's like 3,500 articles there teaching all kinds of things. We have courses. I've wanted to do a video course, and I've also really wanted to do a, a a total beginner's course, soup to nuts. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just think you're a perfect subject for that, so let's do it. I would love to. That would be great. I'd love to start from A and go to Z, and then for whatever else after that. Cool. <clears throat> right on. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad I ran into you today. You've had a chance to meet my friend Jamie a bit and learn where she's starting on her CNC journey. 
This CNC with Jamie series is going to be her story of learning CNC and building a CNC business. Jamie has no special talents that give her an advantage in doing that. That's something that's true for 99% of CNC beginners. So it's no knock on Jamie and you shouldn't be worried about whether you have special talents either. But she's committed and creative. I think she'll get it done and wind up with a CNC business. You'll be seeing every step of that process and getting the opportunity to learn just what she is learning so you can come up to speed on CNC too. We'll be focusing on projects and building things, learning as you go. That makes it a lot more fun and keeps the energy going. We're not going to make you learn a whole bunch of detail before you start making things. And we'll keep the costs low. Jamie doesn't have a lot of cash to start her business. There will be both videos and articles, expect one or two a month. If you like what you're seeing here, first and foremost, click the thumbs up. It tells the YouTube algorithms to show more people the article. Second, subscribe and click the bell so you won't miss any new videos in the series. Okay, Jamie and I are having a lot of fun with this series and we hope you will too. Tell us in the comments what you think and especially what topics you want to see covered in the series.